Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, thanks to all of you for all the support. I loved the comments on the Monday Law of Attraction reading with the Les Brown message. It was fun to see people who had never heard him commenting. And if you are new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are something different every week. So of course, this earlier this week was a Law of Attraction reading. I do love readings on Mondays. I also do more detailed Celtic cross style readings on Monday. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Pisces need to know, please? For the best and highest good of all concerned with Pisces. Messages for Pisces, please. All right, we'll start here with the tarot, and then we'll have the angel answers. We've got the Queen of Pentacles, the Chariot, the Two of Cups, the Queen of Swords, the Page of Swords, the Devil, the Emperor. I haven't seen the Emperor in a long time. And Justice. Well, we've got four major arcana. That's significant. Um, you've got here Cancer, Capricorn, Aries, Libra. You've got air, water, and earth here. Well, you also, too, I want to mention we've got two queens here. Queens are masters of the suit. So we've got really technically mistress, but um, the, the master of manifesting, the master of money, financial gain, the master of clarity and um, communication. So very positive energies going on here. I feel like in a relationship, you do have something here where the person's very protective of the relationship. I feel like they think of you a lot. You've got real love here. Um, you may have somebody, too, if you have an ex who hasn't let go of you. By the way, with this this internet spy and the devil here, I do feel like they're going to come back around. They just haven't given up on this. It's going to be up to you, though. I also feel like with this, you've got a lot of success going on in terms of career and work, especially with the emperor and justice here and this queen of pentacles. So with the queen life flourishes okay she turns straw into gold you're going to have a very creative um outlook on things at work people are going to be responding to your ideas your good ideas are heard with this and so it may open doors for you as you don't be shy about it either pisces don't be afraid to you know speak up a bit i mean she's in charge so i do feel like for some of you you may have a boss here too who's very protective who wants to almost mentor you and move things forward. You may get something too if you have a new job where that's really what they're looking at. I hear the word apprenticeship, but I feel like it's more like a mentor where somebody kind of takes you under their wing. It could be you too, but I feel like it's more directed towards you where somebody wants to really see you develop and grow. Um, you also too have a decision that gets made here. And I feel like it may be more about relationships, okay, than work necessarily, but but it, all, it I wouldn't rule that out either. So the chariot, this is you've got a very mature energy coming in here. When we start to look at this, we might as well pick them all up. We've got the father of the tarot, but with the chariot, it's like bringing heaven to earth, okay? It's law of attraction energy. So I feel like you're attracting people, too, who are going to be very upfront with you. And it doesn't mean that they're tactless, but I do feel like, especially with the queen and page of swords, their communication style is just very no-nonsense. It's very straightforward. You won't be second guessing. You won't be wondering what their intentions are. So there's the good news with that. Um, but with this too, this chariot energy may have you getting out and seeing the world too, traveling more. If that's what you're looking to do, because you have money coming in, you're going to be able to do it. You also with this, so I mentioned it's law of attraction. These two sphinxes, they aren't even connected to the chariot because he uses his mind and that he controls these sphinxes with his mind. But they also, you've got le the justice scales here, they bring in balance. So I feel like they're telling you you're going to have a good work-life balance. And you also might be the voice of reason for somebody with that devil energy. There may be something about this. Um, either it's towards you with the mentor that we talked about, 
or it's you giving somebody else a bit of counsel. Um, counsel. It came out as consult. But anyway, with this um, with this chariot, it's about triumph. Okay, so let's not minimize that as success. It's making gains. It's a time in your life where you're going to find you move forward, you make gains, and you make a mark here. So the Two of Cups, you're attracting a soulmate. It's reciprocal, though, no matter what it is that you're asking about. So again, with a job, I feel like you get what you give, you get what you're looking for. In terms of a love relationship, both offer, right? They both offer the same size cup. You're equals. You see things in a similar way. You also see each other as being on equal ground. So this is not a project. It's not this person needs to level up. And I do feel like for some, you do have reconciliation because the love doesn't die. Love is an energy and it's never created or destroyed. It's just a matter of lining up with it. When we have problems in relationships, the problems are not between you and them. It's you and you and them and them. And so when we get right back to center, we get centered again. That's when we can open the door. But if we're not centered and we try to open the door for reconciliation, it'll be fraught with conflict. So I do feel like with this, it's peacefully moving on. It really is being in a place where you value love, you value commitment, you value loyalty, and it's it's vice versa with this. Your ideals are very much in aligned with one another. And with the Queen of Swords here, the communication, she's got great communication, by the way, not as harsh as the Queen. And with that Emperor energy, he can be a bit stern. So I do actually like this because it's clear, but it's certainly not hurting anyone. It really will be a conversation that's a turning point for you, either in work, information that you get that's going to be so helpful, or with a relationship. Now, I do want to acknowledge with reconciliation, somebody here has been hurt. There's no doubt about that. The queen has wounds, but she uses those wounds for wisdom. She uses those to be helpful to her own life, but helpful to others. And so is she also is the widow of the tarot, so I just want to acknowledge that. I mean, when we talk about pain, she's known some real pain. It's not just being dramatic. And so with this, though, it is about having confidence. She's also got a very witty sense of humor. So it may be something to do with work as well. Moving forward, but having things around you, sort of a sarcastic, could be a, a boss or somebody who shows up and has a very dry, sarcastic sense of humor, male or female. There's no gender really in the tarot. So the Page of Swords, we mentioned him already a little bit. He's got a bit of a protective energy. There may be somebody who's doing a bit of research on you here, Pisces. Um, and it might be either way, even if it's a new relationship, just trying to check you out, try to understand you. And it may be them that's been hurt. If you're attracting an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I don't want it to seem like they're a crazy stalker, but I feel like they don't jump in just with no you know, just blindly. They've had enough experiences that they kind of check people out. Now, it also, too, with this, pages are messengers. So I'm telling you, you are going to get information about a job, about things moving forward, but also doing your research with this. So as as, as much as somebody might be researching you, there you are going to do your own research before you make any decisions, whether it's travel or buying something new, you may find that you're on Amazon reviews for hours of time, right? Reading all these reviews before you make a purchase. So I feel like you do your own research and they're doing theirs as well. So the devil has um, an interesting positioning here. The devil can be somebody who's very obsessed with you. And that was my first inclination. I also feel like in a new relationship, though, the person does think about you a lot. I wouldn't quite say it's obsessive, but I do feel like they have this sort of connection, this mind connection, and it's hard for them not to. Um, but the the devil also shows this contrast. It shows that you've been through something challenging. The black in the cards indicate ignorance. So there may be information that was revealed because you've got a very prominent energy here. I don't feel like you're going to be fooled twice, that's for sure. I also think, too, in a reconciliation, you, with this, there, the limitations that were there, I feel like you'll you'll address those. You won't walk back into another cycle of toxicity, a cycle of limitation of not really going where you want things to go with this. And so with the devil, it's time to end things, end things that are 
you know, that the, that aren't working. The tower comes after the devil in the deck. But you, in this case, you have the architect of the universe here, the emperor to handle things. So the emperor too, you don't have any force here other than this, brings in great order to things. It's very much playing by the rules. So if you had anything in the past that wasn't trustworthy with this, you, the energy here is about protection, care, security. Um, I also want to say in a relationship, he holds the staff because it represents Venus and that represents his empress. What he does, he does for her. He's always connected to his empress. So I feel like you do have a relationship here where the person wants to have that kind of commitment. Um, I want to point out too, you've got just this little trickle in the corner of the emperor's foot. He's mostly run by logic, but again, that's that connection to source energy. So Pisces, be in that place of meditation, quieting the mind, letting the good ideas come in, not just using intellect. You also may be attracting somebody here with the chariot and the emperor, someone who's got this dominating energy, um, but they, de they do tend to be very rule oriented. So I do feel like you can trust them. Like it's not somebody who's going to, and with justice too, going to be flexible about the truth. The, tr the justice card is seeing things very clearly. It is the absolute truth. And so with this, it also may be a decision. I feel like the decision is up to you though. I don't feel like it's something where you're waiting on somebody else. This also too, with the pillars that are here, represents support. In a reconciliation, I feel like you will put your foot down. You're not afraid to see the person go again. If they don't, you know, if they're not going to be in this place of purity, honesty, and good communication. However, I do feel like that's what you're attracting. So it'd be hard to see somebody show up without it. We get what we are, right? So let's see here what else the angels have to say for Pisces. Messages for Pisces, please. What else does Pisces need to know, please? For the best and highest good for Pisces. Big happy changes are on the way. So, you know, with that, again, things are shifting. You've got compromise. So again, that may be more reconciliation, folks. Um, but I don't feel like it's anything that compromises your values. You've got romance, so be prepared for that because you definitely have somebody here that has that two of cups energy within the next few months. So it could be somebody new coming in and they give you a yes because you can have do or be anything Pisces. I love you and I'll be back again soon.